Hey guys, Jack on Wrist here, back with another video, and in today's video, I want to show off to you my ideal to watch collection. So the reason for making this collection is because I'm actually transferring to a farther away university very soon, and I started to really think about what watches I wanted to bring with me. I didn't want to bring too many because I didn't want to risk losing them or having them be stolen, but at the same time I wanted to have enough watches that could cover any situation I come across. So after thinking for a while, I decided on the two watches I'm going to show you guys today. I think this collection is great because no matter what I stumble across at college or at work or no matter what happens, I'll have a watch to handle that situation. Please leave in the comment section down below what you guys think of my two watch collection and also leave in the comment section down below what you guys think is a great two watch collection that can handle any situation. So without further ado, let's take a look at these watches. So in my hand are two watches, the Grand Seiko SBGT035 on the left and the G-Shock GWM5610 on the right. And these two watches, in my opinion, create the best two watch collection that I can personally build. And I think what really makes this watch collection so special is that these two watches together could really handle any situation that you come across on a day to day basis. And really quickly, I want to get out the way that these watches are both extreme timekeepers. You can honestly every single day look at your wrist and trust the time being displayed on both these watches. And I think that's something that is really special about these pieces as well. If you're interested in these specific watches, I'll leave links in the description below to the reviews I did on both of them. And obviously these are amazing pieces, so I recommend you check them out. So starting off with the G-Shock, I think what really makes the G-Shock so special is the fact that it can really handle any situation that isn't limited by being more dressy and more formal. At the end of the day, you could wear this going to class, going to work, you know, uh, in a casual environment, at the gym, whatever the situation is, as long as it's not something that is more elegant, you know, this watch can handle it. And obviously it is just so rugged and so reliable that there's not a lot of situations that you can't really see yourself wearing it in. But like I said, it's limited. If you're going out for a night on the town or going to a nice dinner, you might feel like it's a little outmatched for the environment. And that's where the Grand Seiko comes into play. The Grand Seiko is a mix of a sporty and dressy piece in my opinion. On the bracelet and with that stainless steel, I think it looks great and in a sportier environment or a more casual environment, I think it really works. But put a leather strap on this thing and it's automatically a dress watch that looks spectacular. For the occasions you need to get dressed up just a little bit more than what a G-Shock would really provide you, this watch is there for you. And again, amazing timekeeping, you can really rely on this thing just like the G-Shock. And again, that is just another special part of this collection. The way I see it, if one watch can't handle it, the other one can. And I think you just can't really say that about too many watch collections if they're not built properly. If you're going to a fancy dinner, you bring the Grand Seiko. If you're going to the gym to work out, you bring the G-Shock. Like I said, there's not really a situation that you can name that one of these two watches can't handle. And as someone such as myself who really just needs to kind of figure out what watches I need and what watches I don't so I can be really efficient with what I bring to college and you know use for the rest of my life, I think it's really important to kind of start thinking about being really efficient with my collection and starting to cut down on pieces that you don't really wear or don't really need to have. Like I said though in the introduction, please let me know what you guys think about this collection and please let me know what your ideal to watch collection is. It doesn't have to be a Grand Seiko and a G-Shock. This is just my personal example. I think there are a lot of ways to articulate it where you have two watches that can really handle any situation no matter what happens. So yeah, that was my ideal to watch collection. Like I said, I'll leave links in the description below for those of you who are interested in checking out the specific reviews I did on these two pieces, but that's pretty much it for this video. So again, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think, and that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next one.